for Fox Sports Next, Lindsay Theory at Angel Stadium, joined by Angels pitcher Michael Kahn. Actually, a Southern boy stuck out here on the West Coast, a self-proclaimed SEC homer. What's it like, Michael? Been out here for the last four years now, having to adapt to the Pac-12. Uh, it's great out here. I love the weather. Uh, the people were very nice. A um, little bit different from back home, uh, being all the way across on the West Coast, but it's a, mm -hmm. it's a great place to play, great environment, and uh, absolutely love it out here. That's the baseball side of things. It's college football season is coming up. You are a self-proclaimed Southern SEC Conference homer. You have plenty of teammates here who love to battle you on that. Uh, so what's that like? Um, it's good. The, the biggest thing out here is, the, like I said, the, the USC term. Uh, being from South Carolina, the USC means uh, the University of South Carolina for me. Uh, out here is Southern Cal, so I battle. Which he obviously doesn't know. You can't call <laughs> USC Southern Cal. They hate that, but continue on. Yeah, I, I always get in this argument. I think uh, if my facts uh, are right, I think the University of South Carolina was established before uh, the University of Southern California. So uh, I always say the real USC is, is back home in South Carolina, but it's Great tradition out here in California with football, uh, especially in Pasadena with Southern Cal. They, they, they're a winning tradition program, so it's a. Uh, this really is a kid from the South because Pasadena is actually UCLA. Oh, see, like see, there you go. I just know they play the Rose Bowl in Pasadena. That's that was a mess up on my part. Who are you going in with day in and day out? Pac-12 versus SEC. Um, a lot with you know Conger, Hank Conger, Trumbo. Uh, mm -hmm. You know, new addition Grant Green was a Southern Cowboy. Um, and majority of the West Coast guys out here battle with me, uh, ACC versus SEC, SEC versus Pac-18, whatever it is now. So it's, uh, it's a battle, but it, it's fun. It's definitely fun. What are you trying to say? What arguments are you bringing to the table? And let's forget the seven straight national championships. Yeah, well, we won't talk about uh, just do complete domination uh, by the SEC. No, I just talk about football and, and how it's, it's different with uh, the Southern Cal, the, the spread offenses, and then you go to the SEC and it's more power, it's more running, it's more fast defenses and uh, you know I just uh, I always go about that with the SEC. You probably wanted to be a wide receiver for Southern or South Carolina I should say there we go Southern California South Carolina what kind of predictions do you have for Steve Spurrier and uh, your big star Jadavian Clowney? Yeah yeah hopefully uh, you know hopefully we can win double digit ball games again this year um, I think we're, it's going to be interesting without Lattimore obviously he was hurt last year and mm -hmm. not having him this year and you know the two quarterbacks we have with Shaw and uh, We'll see how it turns out, but Davian is, is hands down, in my opinion, the best player in the country. Um, he's a freak, and it'll be an interesting season. All right, good thing to be a freak in football. Hot button topic in the SEC has to be Johnny Manziel, Texas A&M, coming on over into the SEC, and then you bring that circus. So what's your opinion on that? Uh, it's tough, man. The guy won the Heisman as a freshman, first one to do it. Um, he's in the limelight a lot. A lot. Uh, he's just got to learn how to, I guess, try to stay out of it as much as possible and just focus on football. I think that's what he's doing now with – spring practice and everything hitting up and uh, he, he's starting to fade out of the limelight. But that comes with the territory of winning the Heisman Trophy. Yeah, you were pretty young when you got into the big leagues, so what, what did you learn about when you got here? Yeah, I mean, if I was, you know, Johnny Munzel, I was still young, but I was 23, 24, uh, four years of college. Mm -hmm. You know, he won it as a freshman, 18 years old. Uh, it's got to be tough to, to have that much exposure. I probably would have done a lot worse than he has. So. Uh, I think he's, he's done an okay job and it's going to get better throughout the year. Plenty of uh, USC fans actually around here in Anaheim. So if you have to pick USC versus UCLA, which way are you going? Uh, UCLA fans around here too. Yeah, yeah. I, I mean, I'll probably go with the Southern Cal. UCLA has been down the last couple of years but, uh, with the new additions, uh, coaching staff, and you know they're up and coming. Uh, the quarterback issue is going to be at Southern Cal after leaving Matt Barkley. Uh, good dude. He actually came in here earlier this year and mm -hmm. got to talk to him, pick his brain. Um, great guy. So. They still got Marquis Lee, who's uh, the best wide receiver in the country. So I think uh, Southern Cal is going to do that. Okay, so Michael knows his uh, Trojan football. My, Matt Barkley, what kind of uh, things did he have to say to you? Uh, he's just a good dude. We just, you know, uh, talked and had some fun talking about baseball. I talked to him about football uh, right before the draft, um, and just, you know, thought where he was going to land maybe. But uh, he's just a cool dude, laid back. You know, definitely got that California mm -hmm. laid back style, and uh, it was cool to talk to him. Hey, Barkley's a quarterback. You're a pitcher throwing motions, throwing tips, you guys share any of those? No, no, they're very similar, uh, throwing a football and a baseball. Uh, didn't talk about, we didn't talk too much about uh, the mechanics of football and all that stuff, just talked about games and the big games he's played in and, and, and the, the atmospheres he's played in and it was, uh, it was cool to pick his brain. Yeah, but if you were to go against Matt Barkley on a radar, Who's uh, throwing the ball harder, faster? A uh, football? No, let's go with a baseball. Oh, definitely me. I'll beat him with a baseball. Okay, uh, can you? what about a football? Um, 
I mean, he's a, he's an NFL quarterback, so he's probably got me beat. But I still can uh, I still can chunk it pretty good. But he's definitely got me beat. Pretty humble for an SEC homer to admit that an NFL quarterback, albeit from the Pac-12, probably has a better arm for you than you. Okay, so we're gonna get right into it. Uh, college pick 'em. It's always everyone's favorite part of the season. I know it's mine, and we're gonna start off with the August 31st game, Georgia at Clemson. Now you're not gonna be there though. You're just gonna still be on the West Coast. Not gonna be there. Uh, the thing about South Carolina and the rivalries, South Carolina Clemson, if you're either one or the other, and I'm a South Carolina fan, so I can never root for Clemson. Uh, that's just who I am. So definitely going to stick with the SEC and go with Georgia on that one. It's going to be a close game. All right, another non-conference game, but very big on the West Coast. We Boise State at Washington. The Huskies have a brand new stadium. Do you think they're going to try and win in it? Uh, and Washington, I feel bad for y'all sometimes. But no, I actually think Washington will sneak it out and have a, a, a pretty decent year this year. Steve Sarkeesian supposed to get over that seven game hump. Okay, here we go. I have a feeling this is a pointless question, but South Carolina at Georgia. Uh, it's tough. Georgia's always uh, our biggest game of the year coming in because it's so early. I think it's the third week like it always is. Um, it's at Georgia this year. Lately, we've had their number, which is very rare in my lifetime to see us beat Georgia so many times. But it's going to be a tough game. Aaron Murray's a great quarterback. He's a senior. Uh, he's got a great offensive line, great running backs. But uh, I'm going to go with my Gamecocks by three. All right, Michael's about to move up the chain onto Fox Sports Live and be one of these panelists. Uh, September 14th game, it's Alabama at Texas A&M. Do you think they're going to get revenge? I think you can't beat Nick Saban twice. It's it's impossible, uh, at least I think in my head. You know, the guy's so well prepared mentally uh, for his team to be ready, and I think it would actually be a, a manslaughter. I think he's, he'll beat him by 20, 20 plus. Manslaughter is a strong word. Okay, I'm not here to start any arguments, but UCLA is going on the road to play a very tough game. Not always something that happens in the SEC. UCLA is going to Nebraska. Who are you picking? Um, I'll actually go Nebraska this pick. I like to pick, uh, I think Nebraska's a good football team. All right, Todd Graham heading uh, up to Stanford with Arizona State at Stanford. Uh, I like Stanford. I think Stanford's a well-coached team. Uh, does all the fundamentals great. Uh, I'm going to go Stanford on this one. Michael, you're pretty good at the Pac-12. I'm, I'm agreeing with a lot of these picks. All right, September 28th, this is going to be a big game. Louisiana State at Georgia. Uh, that one's tough. Um, later in the year, it seems like... LSU just keeps getting better and better as the year progresses. Les Miles said they have, he has one of the best groups he's ever had this year. And for him to say that, it's pretty remarkable. And I think LSU is going to have a great season and they're going to be Georgia. Right, this could be kind of a trap game. University of Southern California, West Coast USC at uh, Arizona State. Um, I, I'm going to limb here and say ASU. I think ASU is going to sneak up on some people, um, especially at, at Arizona State. The crowd is... Pretty good there. Um, I'm gonna go with ASU on this All one. Right, Sorry, SC people. That's an that's an upset right there. Uh, your fans are gonna boo you next time you take the mound. That's fine. <laughs> All right, Kentucky at South Carolina. Uh, this should be an easy pick, but it should be. But you know, um, it's Kentucky. Yeah. Two year every year, yeah, you pick two teams. Kentucky and Vanderbilt scare me mm -hmm. uh, when we play them. They always have good matchups against us. Obviously, I'm gonna go with South Carolina, but it's gonna be a tough fault uh, game. All right, choose wisely here. Okay, it's a pretty easy game. Washington at Stanford. <sighs> let's uh, let's go with your alumni. I'm gonna go Washington. Let's go with the. Alumni. Everyone now knows that I'm a Washington yeah, alum. See, I'm gonna I'm gonna do an upset there and say Washington will beat Stanford. This is all on the record. Keeping uh, down the list, October 12th, Florida at LSU. Um, it's in LSU, it's it a tough place to play. Um, even though I think Florida will surprise some people this year, uh, LSU Baton Rouge Stadium is just. 100 and something thousand people electric. You got to go with the home team, LSU. Rich Rod found a way to beat USC in Tucson this year. Can Rich Rod beat USC, the Southern California version, yeah. at the LA Coliseum? Um, I think he does. Rich Rodriguez has a, a, a crazy offense every year. It seems you are not making any more fans or friends here in Southern yeah, California. Yeah, I know. I, I keep going against Southern Cal, but it's. You know, they're not the SC uh, five years ago with the uh, Reggie Bushes and stuff like that. It's kind of changed. So um, I think Rich Rod is going to, uh, Arizona will beat him again. This is kind of a wild card that I threw in there. LSU at Ole Miss. Now, Ole Miss has a huge recruiting class, 2013. They just cleaned up. Do you think by this time they can have those guys ready to maybe compete? I don't know if, if this year's the year for them. They definitely had a great recruiting class. I think the uh, number one recruit in the country from Atlanta, defensive end. Robert Kim Nietzsche. Yeah, Kim Nietzsche yeah. committed to Clemson. Uh, I think you give them a couple more years and, and the recruits are going to get in. They'll, they'll sneak up, kind of like Mississippi State has in the last couple of years. Um, 
but you still got to go with LSU on that one. Okay, we're getting into the heart of the Pac-12. This is when the schedule gets tough. I know you guys in the SEC don't want to admit that the Pac-12 is going to beat up on each other, but they're going to beat up on each other. UCLA at Stanford. Uh, it's a great game to watch on TV, to be honest with you. No, I, I like watching uh, Stanford play, but I'll go with Stanford on that one. Uh, okay. Too smart, too fundamentally sound. Too smart because they go to Stanford. A uh, USC at Notre Dame in South Bend this year. Um, I'm going to have to go with Notre Dame. My boy Torrey Hunter's son is a wide receiver there uh, his first year. So I'm going to go with uh, Notre Dame. Even Everett Golston's out for the year, I think, mm -hmm. um, who is a South Carolina boy. Um, can't, st can't stay in school, can they? No, no, I can't. Oh, that's a, that's a, that's a yeah. hard shot. All right, right don't, don't touch it. Yeah, so, but uh, I'm going to go Notre Dame on that one. Uh, once again, Southern California fans probably getting a little more angry at you by the second. UCLA fans, what are they going to like you if you pick them to win at Oregon? Um, I think they, I mean, Chip Kelly's gone. Mm -hmm. Let's see what the Oregon has to show early on in the year with the new staff. I'll see if they still have the upbeat tempo offense, but uh, let's go UCLA. Oregon does have a nice uh, facility, but I don't think that's going to win them football games. Georgia at Florida. <sighs> that game, Georgia at Florida, what they call it, between the hedges, uh, the biggest party of the year down in Jacksonville. Um, have you been there? Never been there. I would love to go. Kind of be cool to go there, but I'm gonna go with uh, I'll go with UGA on this one. Oregon at Stanford. Uh, same thing. I'll stick with Stanford. Um, even though I, I picked Stanford to lose early in the year, I think they're gonna finish strong and they'll beat Oregon. That front seven at Stanford always getting the job done. LSU at Alabama. This is always a classic. Yeah, it's it's the kind of the game that everybody looks toward in the SEC in the year. Um, Does that hurt your families being South Carolina? You know, it doesn't. You you have to you know, evaluate your team pretty good. And I know if we win the East, we still have to go to the SC Championship and still have to face Bama, which is, is pretty tough. Um, I think it'll be a miracle game for us to win, but I'd uh, be happy to be there. But I think uh, Bama will pull this one out. Florida at uh, your place, South Carolina. Yeah, uh, you know, uh, you would have asked me four years ago, three years ago, and Tebow was there, I would have said no chance for us. But And there you go, our first mention of Tim Tebow. The guy was great in college. The guy was one of the best in college. Um, I'll go with South Carolina on this one and, and beating Florida. This is going to be a very big game in the Pac-12. Maybe, maybe not if USC schedule plays out the way you think it's yeah, going to be. Uh, Stanford at USC. Um, at USC, uh, even though Stanford is Stanford, I think uh, this will be a big win for Southern Cal on the year. And uh, I'll go with Southern Cal just so they don't hate me. And finally, Clemson at South Carolina, November 30th. You're going to be there, I take it, probably on the sideline? Absolutely. I'll be there. We're going to go for five straight. Um, Clowney's never lost to Clemson. Um, he says he's not going to lose to him. So definitely going to pick this game to be 100% South Carolina. All right, you might as well give Jadavian Clowney a shout out right about now. Best player, best player in football. He's unbelievable, uh, fun to watch. Uh, he's, like I said, he's the freak. Okay, national championship game, or in your mind, because a lot of arguments right now that the national championship game might not even be the best matchup, who are going to be the best two teams at the end of the season, and, and who's the number one team? That's uh, that's a tough question. I, I know Bama's going to be there, 100%. Uh, another team that's going to, I mean, they proved it last year, that even though on, under suspension, Ohio State, they were undefeated last year. Urban Meyer seems to get it done everywhere he goes, no matter where he goes, Utah, Florida, uh, now Ohio State. It could be a matchup between Ohio State and Alabama. Now, I don't know if that will be a good game in the National Championship, but that's what I think it might play out. All right, Michael, you're doing pretty well. A Southeastern Conference kid stuck on the West Coast having to deal with Pac-12 football. So there you have it, the picks of Los Angeles Angels pitcher Michael Kahn, uh, SEC homer, but uh, making some wise Pac-12 decisions. Be sure to keep it on Fox Sports next to monitor his picks throughout the season.